We're back in Friday. NYC. Friday. Friday. <laughs> Nothing would keep us from our podcast. No. I love I loved these moments. Absolutely. Even Betty's renovations. They're not done. And oh. she's staying with me. <laughs> and she's been a really good sport. So today we're going to talk about refining your masturbation skills. Yes. We got a lot of questions yesterday that we went over where people were <coughs> kind of stuck in a rut with their masturbation skills, which translated in the inability to orgasm during partner sex. But here's the thing. Master, even if you're having wonderful orgasms, masturbation is the way to learn new skills. Yes, and you should never just do the same thing, right? You should no, always no. be open to new experiences. Absolutely, absolutely. So it's like a variety. You, we want a variety in food. We want a variety in entertainment. Exactly. We want a variety in our, our masturbation skills. We want a variety in our orgasms. And I gotta say, there's no such thing as having the, a wrong kind no, of orgasm. No, they're all great and wonderful. We love them all. Is it normal to masturbate two to three times a day? And this was from a man. And he was masturbating two to three times a day. And he was also doing a little bit of that public masturbation. We've all seen those videos online. Well, it's like, yeah, proceed at your own risk. It's the thing, if this is from a guy. And if a guy is spending two to three minutes so three times three is nine, nine minutes. minutes. So if he's spending nine minutes pleasuring himself. In the shower. I would recommend that he spends more time, not is he masturbating too much. I would say it depends on the length of time he's doing it. Because men want to train themselves to last longer. So that when they have partner sex, they're yeah. better lovers. Yeah, it, that we appreciate it. If you've got good cum control. So how do you do that? How do you practice state lasting longer? What do you do? Well, you know, it's uh, uh, it, it's clearly written up in, in Orgasms for Two, my book. Give me the quick sketch. Oh, the quick sketch. Okay. It's, it's bringing yourself right up in front of an orgasm, and instead of shooting, you pull back. Now, some guys like to tighten the pelvic floor muscle. Oh. Other guys relax it completely. So this is... An you feel like you're going to ejaculate, and you either tighten your muscles or you relax and you stop and you let it you let up you let the excitement subside then Ooh. you then you bring it up again know what i loved we had lunch with Susie bright and her daughter aretha came up she gives sex advice to all her guy friends and she's 18 and she's like i always tell them to jack an edge and i knew exactly what we yeah, all I did knew too. what it we, meant yeah, we knew exactly it meant get on the edge like you're jacking yeah. off you're on the edge and then stop so we're going to give her that little footnote. Yes. <laughs> Aretha, Aretha Bright. Bright. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's go to question number two. I can only climax through masturbation, but only in a very definite position. Lying on my stomach, using both hands while using my thighs for squeezing motions. How can I learn to orgasm during partner sex? Now, this was in the orgasm doctor. Karen kind of did yes. a little bit of that where there are... You play she's with their using, clit down. She's and... using her childhood technique. This is another thing for people to look at. If you're still masturbating like you did when you were a kid, <laughs> time, time to upgrade. <laughs> upgrade. That's yeah. There's a skill. So the way I say to go about it is to lie on your back, put your knees up, bent, put your feet on the floor. That's your grounding. Spread those thighs open, <laughs> honey. Open, open them up. And whatever technique you're using, whether it's your hand or a vibrator, you want to start rocking your pelvis and breathing and gradually building up the excitement. Now, do it. I say use it. You know, it's like a, if you're going to the gym, how you time things when you're first doing yeah, something. Yeah, absolutely. I Look at a clock a and mm -hmm. make sure that you're doing it for at least 10 to 15 minutes. Now, that doesn't sound like a lot. But it is a lot. Oh, it is. <laughs> you're going, oh, nothing's happening. I'm going to stop. But don't stop. Stay with it for at least 10 to 15 minutes. Then go roll over on your tummy, go back to Old Faithful, uh, and award yourself with an orgasm. For a while now, I've been inserting my fingers in my butt while masturbating. I've started to like this, and I was wondering if you could give me any advice or tips on how I can make the experience better. And this is from a gentleman. So he's oh. doing, you know, some guys, they love when you do that during oral sex, and some guys are just like, no uh, way you're going to... Yeah. A lot of guys break are, that barrier. It's like no, 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 no. They're no. very sensitive about their little buddy holes. But the prostate is a few inches in, and if you put a finger up there, I will feel great. So what if he's like, if he's using his own finger? That's mm -hmm. kind of a. Oh, it's hard. That's, yeah. Think of it. You got to go like this. He, I highly recommend the Aneros, which we are selling on our website. I love the Aneros. Eric good... is crazy about it. He, you know, I went in the other day, and I always say, "Oh, 
It's got the anero side again. Yes, yes. <laughs> Someone's having a little anal plug. Or, or any, a, a butt plug. They're, you know, you put them in and they're designed so that they'll stay there, but they have a base and they won't go too far. I'm 20 years old and I've never had an orgasm. I've been with a guy for a while and when he started playing with me, I felt things I've never felt before. I tense up and I start to fidget. I was just wondering if there was anything that could help me relax so I could have an actual orgasm. Okay, here's the deal. Having an orgasm is not about relaxing. We lot it's not you you don't go into the sleeping beauty mode. No, where well you that's lie so there, passive like. anyway. It's so I hate that way that women are taught about sex that you just wait for some guy to give it to you. Masturbate, yeah. discover your own body. She hasn't even started. Talk about not refining. You she's, have to start. She's never had an orgasm with herself. So how can you have an orgasm with anyone else? Okay, girlfriend, get sex for one and start practicing with yourself and then you'll learn what your body likes. But you will be squeezing and releasing your muscles. You will be rocking your pelvis. You will be breathing. Re re breathing. breathing. Now, when she said, I get fidgety. I think it's because she gets sensitive. Like something's happening with her body and, and she, does, she can't let go and enjoy the pleasure. And I think sometimes women have problems doing that. We don't know what if he's doing her clitoris. And, you know. She didn't say. But I assume she says he plays with her with his fingers. So I would imagine that means clitoris may be a little bit inside. Oh, yeah, and so there's, that's the moment when, when women have to say, you know, lighten up uh, or take over. Take some show, direction. Show him how to do it. Take his hand and show him where to go. I don't think that's the, pro I think that's the problem. I don't think that she's done this before. So she doesn't know what she wants. And once again, let us just say, masturbation is the foundation for all yeah. of human sexuality. Through masturbation, we can learn new ways to pleasure ourselves. Yes, and have pleasure with others. Absolutely. And share our new skills. <laughs> Happy orgasms.